All right, I uh, fixed the Thunder Dragon. I must say, starting out, no problem with Tamiya's kit. The problem was with me. I uh, didn't install the pinion right. I just had a little edge of the uh, sp spur gear, sorry, the pinion gear on the spur. And probably that'll focus. Uh, or not. Just the edge. So I was barely, barely on the spur, the pinion, and when I tested it, I ground it off. Congratulations, you played yourself. Thankfully, I got a new set of gears, so I got lots of spares. If I break anything else, I got those from RC Mart. Uh, took about five days to get here from Hong Kong. And uh, we put it back together. the Thunder Dragon works. So we can uh, take a look at what I've done with this car. And uh, I must say, of all the uh, Thundershot series, I guess you call them, this is my favorite uh, design. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so here's the Thundershot. It's in good shape. Uh, the body comes painted, so I didn't have to paint that. I would have painted it silver anyway, because I tried to do this one and the big wig box art. So I did the sticker set all according to the manual. Left the window clear. Inside we have I painted this with um, gunmetal because I didn't have any black sitting around. I realized I have like 30 cans of paint but no black. Um, so I did it with gunmetal gray and painted the driver. Not the best, but yeah, I'm not so good at it. So that's with the body off. Now to get this piece of plastic off with the driver on it, I need my screwdriver. So let me go grab that. So I'll just take out the screw and we'll get that little piece of plastic off. There we go. Pull that out. And there's the inside of our, our car. I'm using a Hobbywing 1060 uh, ESC. This is a RTR one. They're like 20% cheaper and they don't come in red. Um, I once again have a Futaba Metal Gear Servo in there. I'm running the BZ Superstock Tamiya brush motor. This thing is quite quick. I have several of these, four or five cars running these. Um, really, really like them. I fully ball raced it and I put on uh, GPM shocks and I originally had the orange one for the front but it was a 70 millimeter and you really need an 80 up front so I didn't have enough travel so this is a road tech shock and the dampening is slightly different. Um, I might replace the two back with long road tech. I don't know if you're familiar with this brand. It just says road tech professional tools. And I think it's also made by GPM. And I got an extra one because this one takes one. The gray does look nice because the body's gray. Um, yeah, so that's the car built. Um, it has a sway bar up front and on the back, I think the Terra Scorcher has it on the back as well, um, and it has adjustable Terra Scorcher. These are adjustable, the upper upper links, but I don't really need to do much adjustment. This thing won't be raced, obviously. Um, I just built this as a fun project. I always like to look at these cars, and I thought it'd be cool to have my own. So that's it. Didn't do a lot of upgrades. Ball race, better shocks. You can see the back 
the rebounds a bit slower and it's thicker oil. So I don't know if that's going to affect driving. Hopefully the back doesn't bounce around too much. So now what I want to say about this car, um, it was really simple to build. I, I do, I did really like building it. I think if you're a mid-level builder, this will be fine. Um, simpler than the big wig for sure. Uh, less parts, simpler installation. Some things made just made more common sense if you're used to building cars. I think it is quite a good design, and I think that probably the the gearbox is is robust enough. I think it was just my silliness. I don't know why when I fitted the pinion. So one thing, if you are building this, when you have the gearbox apart, I suggest setting your pinion, put put in the spur gear in, and setting your pinion then. In the instructions, everything's put together, and then you put the, the 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 motor on, and you set your pinion. But you can't see inside, so that might have been part of it. Um, but I take the blame for that. So I'd suggest checking it. So I had to take it all apart. I had to take off the the suspension and the arms, and take the tire module off the the chassis, and then separate it all apart before I could look inside and see what went wrong. So it's kind of a pain if you don't do that. If you make the same mistake and you have to take everything apart also getting parts for these may not be so easy as i said i got the gears from rc martin hong kong because there's just none for sale here so you break something on these old classic re-release kits and it's not a clod blaster or a lunchbox or, or blackfoot or something monster beetle it's probably going to be hard to find parts for them i find for those other more common they've been re-released for forever there are quite a few parts but this just came out this year i think it's only the last couple of years they've re-released this line of chassis so you break something yeah it might be hard to get get the pieces so i hope everything up here all holds together i don't crack anything today same thing for the big wig because finding the parts probably have to order from J japan um japan's always good you can pretty much get everything from japan so we're going to take it outside and we're going to do a run and maybe we'll get the uh, big wig out as well um, if I can get my buddy to drive it. So we'll see. hope so. We can see him head to head. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoy this video and my running footage. Thanks for watching. Faster, too regular.
This one? Yeah. Because the tires, the tires, the tires are sticking in the earth. They're too pointy. Dog. We're gonna check on the world. Maybe, maybe we just. Let's try again. Do you want that? Ready? Yeah, ready. Here we go. You're cheating! You're driving all the cones over!
crashes. I'm trying to wrap up my video. It's for YouTube. So many thanks to Rubik. Yeah. For driving. It's our co-driver today. Um, really pleased. Except we uh, lost the screw. So we're gonna stop for today. But this is really, really fun. It's better than I thought it'd be. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think? I think it's a better um, car. Yeah, it's um, flexible and um, make tr make good turning, but um, uh, on the grass it's too light. Too light, yeah. Well, these knobby tires with these spikes don't help on the grass. Ooh, that's pretty loose. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do a lot of a lot of maintenance on this. Yeah, uh, and because of the plastic, um, the structure maybe not so strong for it. Ah, uh, it's not bad. You know, bendy plastic's good because then it doesn't snap. So, yeah, like that, that's pretty bendy. Um, but works good. Very, very fun. Um, maybe we'll do a brushless conversion on this and get a new drive shaft for the four wheel drive. Uh, yeah, so happy with that. Big wig, good performer as always, as it was last week. That's, that's warm, nothing's broke, and we're not being gentle. So, very, very good. Very, very good car. But too heavy. But yeah, very, very heavy, but man, does it hold the, hold the bumps, hold the earth, sticks yeah, to yeah, the yeah. earth. Yeah, yeah, it does really, really well. So that's all for this video. Since we lost the screw, that, that ends our video. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, or I'll come to your house and murder your wife. What?